All right, Mitch, first, welcome to Kansas City. Thank you. And second of all, had a great season, had a great career so far in the four years you had in Cleveland, one of the top right tackles in football. What made Kansas City the right place for you to continue your career? Just knowing about the organization. I mean, um, you know, the, the Hunt family name, you know, is one of the biggest, if not the biggest name in, in football history. Uh, so understanding the family's contributions to the game of football and, and you know, how, how that plays out in the organization, um, you know, that's one of the, the overriding factors, I think. You know, in the last couple of years, the, the success of, of Coach Reed and his staff, you know, just being able to come here and, and kind of compete right away for, you know, the playoffs and hopefully a championship every year, you know, that, that's really enticing and I feel like it's a really good situation all the way around. Now, for fans that aren't familiar with your game, how would you describe your style of play to fans who haven't watched you before? I think, you know, I focus on technique a lot. I think that's kind of my main thing is, um, you know, trying to be as technically sound as I possibly can. You know, I think that the technique aspect of it kind of overrides everything. You know, you can be athletic, you can be strong, but if you don't know how to utilize that correctly, you know, it doesn't really matter when it's third and 12 and you, know, you got to go against one of these guys in the division who, who can really rush the passer. Or, you know, you got to run block a guy who can, who can get after it. So I think you have to be, you know, really solid technique wise. Um, you know, and unfortunately I've played in a lot of different offensive systems the past few years, so I think I am pretty versatile in that regard and can kind of do a little bit of everything. So um, I think those are, you know, two of the two of the biggest things. As an opposing player, you've had a chance in fan of the NFL to watch Andy Reid's offense and what he likes from his offensive linemen. More greedy, greedy, greedy. They're down, they're out in space, getting out and running a lot. Just how much are you looking forward to that? And how does that fit what you do well? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the offense is great for offensive linemen. You know, like you said, there's, there's a lot of things that we could get to do here that you can't do elsewhere. Um, you know, it's a lot of running the ball, it's a balanced offense, it's setting up play action, um, doing things that offensive linemen love. Um, you know, it's not just sitting back there and chucking it 60, 70 times a game and, and hoping things work out. So I think, you know, the balance aspect of it, um, you know, it seems like this past year using Alex Smith's legs a little more to, to kind of open up things in, in the pass game and the run game. You know, I think it's a, it's a really cool opportunity and I'm really looking forward to, to playing in the offense. How did your brother help you throughout this process? How much did you lean on his advice in figuring out if this was a good spot for you? You know, I knew, you know, he had a really good time here. You know, the one year he was here, you know, he loved it. You know, the, the staff is a really big part of that and just kind of setting the right attitude for, for working hard and, and working well and also being able to have fun. Um, you know, I knew that the city was great. He, he talked about how much he loved living here. Um, so it's just, it's, it's awesome all the way around. Now, a couple of times in your career, you've played here at Arrowhead Stadium. Just what do you recall about those games that you played at Arrowhead that, that maybe put you where, like, I want to play in front of these fans, I want to play at Arrowhead Stadium? I remember, you know, the first time I played here was against my brother. You know, he told me that when we rolled in on the buses to just look for the smoke everywhere, uh, everyone tailgating and, and smoking some, some ribs and, and other food. So, you know, pulling up on the bus, just kind of seeing the, the smoke rise. It was a really cool atmosphere. You can just, you know, tell that the fans get here early. You know, they like to enjoy themselves. It's, the, you know, the loudest stadium in the NFL. On Sundays, this is the place to be. The guy that you had experience with your rookie year back in Cleveland in 2012 and Brad Childress. He's the offensive coordinator there, just got promoted to co-offensive coordinator here. He and Andy Reid go way back. How much did your experience with him, knowing he was here, maybe play into this a little bit? And what do you like about playing with him? You know, Coach Childress, um, playing for his offense, it was, it was awesome. It's a, like I said before, it's, it's a balanced offense. I mean, it's, it's kind of O-line friendly, quote unquote. You know, they, they know what they want to do well. They know what they do well. Um, they stick to it. Um, you know, they add some wrinkles here and there and, and mix some things up to, to throw off defenses. But there's a comfortability there um, in terms of, of Coach Childress. Um, you know, he's a really good coach. He's a really great guy as well. Um, you know, I think that's kind of the thing that I'm starting to realize more and more is, you know, it's, it's, it's a good staff football-wise, but they're also really great people. 